beautiful humans welcome back to my channel or hello welcome my name is Ella if you are new please don't forget to subscribe and join my YouTube family but in today's video we are going to be talking about what I've been loving in the month of May this month have gone by pretty fast in the last three weeks we had the worst rain we could ever ask for we have tornadoes we have earthquake we have flooding it is stressful it is too much we are ready for sunshine and summer and good weather i don't even think we're even gonna get any spring weather we're gonna go on from winter rainy season and then super hot summer but i've been testing out some few products and i've been actually enjoy using them and i don't have a whole lot so this video is not gonna be very long but let's just go ahead and jump into the favorites first of all let's go ahead and talk about makeup this one i found this in rachel's loves video that she's talking about this she test them on at the end of the day i don't remember her talking about the primer but when she was putting them on in the beginning of the video she mentioned that how she likes it and how she thinks that this primer makes her face looks good minimize her pores she basically liked the primer so i immediately purchased it because i knew on my last video i was talking about something i need to try out different primer and i'm super happy that i found this i purchased this through sephora and this is only 34 dollars my cover effects primer is $39 and I am actually super happy of how much it is and how how good the primer is and this one is the YSL top secret instant matte pore refiner and I love the packaging it's black it has gold details on them and the lid is even gold and this one is a one fluid ounces I just love how the packaging looks it's so expensive this primer has a scent to it because it's YSL it's a high-end brand and usually they would have some scent to it but it's not overpowering it's not bad I actually like how it smells on Sephora website this primer is an ultra light mattifying cream for fresh poreless and ultimately comfortable skin and I will agree on that this is very comfortable on my skin and I do notice difference with like my pores and it keeps my makeup intact this also has a salicylic acid works to reduce look of pores and leave instant matte finish I think that the salicylic looks like acid also help with my acne it is just basically like my cover effect but i think i like this a lot better the cover effects one has this silicone texture to it this one right here it's a cream primer and then when you blend it in it leaves your skin a little tacky which i find it to wear it, it helps it hold my makeup it has a fresh scent to it like i said but it, it's not bad like it's not heavy on the skin it is definitely a good primer another thing with makeup before i said my face with any powder this one I got from my boxycharm and I'm really happy that I did and this is the Farsali jelly beam illuminator so this jelly bean highlighter is a jelly highlighter that applies like a gel and it sets like a powder for a high shine finish I am in love with this one first of all the packaging looks so nice it has a gold lid and it's very slim very compact and this is what it looks like i've never used a jelly bean anything and i know that it has been pretty like popular there for a hot minute and i know it still is i'm gonna have to give it a try sometimes i like to put this on under my powder because i like those sh shine from within look but look at that isn't that pretty and it does dry out like a powder and so you can put this on on top of your powder this just gives me a natural glow there are times where i don't want to put on so much highlighter that i will just put this on on top of my makeup and it just looks so nice it looks so effortless and it's not chunky it doesn't break my powder out and i love the shade i love this highlighter and i think this is gonna last me very long because i only use a little bit of it and a little bit goes a long way this one everybody have talked about this everybody have arrived about this but i just never really purchased them and i don't even know why but then one day ulta had a sale and this was like 50 percent off which is already a drugstore price and 50% off of it is amazing and this is my physician formula butter bronzer and this one is in deep bronze so that's what it looks like mine is broken like a bar it doesn't latch anymore but I've been using this almost end of April and then just I just use it first of all 
the smell is amazing it takes you to a different tropical vacation and it bronzed my face it looks so nice like i love this i don't even know i don't even know what what else to say like it's a good bronzer i wonder why everybody loves it it's just the smell it's amazing and it's a drugstore this is very good last thing with makeup i purchased this when ColourPop was having a 30 percent off with their lip liquid lips and i saw this and i'm like i am in tree so they have an ultra matte they have a ultra metallic they have an ultra glossy one this one i saw and it says ultra blotted lip what the heck and i was like what does that even mean ultra blotted lip and on the picture it looks like this person has a lipstick on but it looks so natural i have purchased the shade zuma i don't know if i'm saying that right let's just go ahead and swatch it over here this is the shade that I got. Like it's not nude, it's like has a pinky nude to it. And I use this every single day. I never wear lipstick to go to work, but when I try this on, I'm like, oh my God, this is amazing. This dries out to where it looks like you got nothing on your lips. It's basically like, like the name said, ultra blotted lips. So basically it seems like you put on your lipstick and then you just tap it out with a paper towel because, oh, you put too much on. So you just got to clean it up. And then you just left with that tint of color. And you're like, ooh, I like this look. And that's what they did with this. I just ordered two, three more shades of this, which is a little excessive, but I use it every day and I like it. It looks so natural in my lips. It is comfortable to wear. And obviously this kind of lipstick, you have to reapply. Like I'm not expecting this to be a long wearing lipstick but I love it. It's very cheap. I got this like for, for $4 because, you know, I had that 30% off. It's it's just good. ColourPop, you do, you just do such a good lipstick. I placed three orders from ColourPop just in the last month. ColourPop is an amazing brand. That's another favorite of mine. If you're like me that just want to wear makeup, but then don't want to overdo it on your everyday look this one will be your best friend which is my best friend because it's in my bag oh i also have one thing that i love and this one kathleen lights have talked about it and uh, another person that i love in youtube is kathleen lights you are my favorite she's my favorite and um she talked about it in her past video once i finished watching it i'm like i need it i cannot believe i was almost forgot to mention this but i've been loving this and i had to grab it from my purse this one is from sephora and this is their new sephora roach lipstick and they are on this packaging right here it's a silver packaging and it has your shade right over here and this one that i got is on the shade 22 go girl and this basically it's like a rosy beige the one that she mentioned was sold out so i just found something that is like almost similar to that color but i am definitely wanting to buy more of this and this is what this looks like and i dropped when i was doing my ipsy video i dropped this lipstick and it has like a little chip right there but then now that i've like kind of used it up it fixes it which is amazing this is very soft lip gloss like it's a lip gloss type of lipstick it doesn't leave your lips very sticky like a normal like some lip gloss would do but this has some sheer tint to it and this combo right here is what i've been using in the last month both of them are this almost the same color and they are very good let's just go ahead and apply this love this lip combo this is just so good i should have wore this in the beginning anyway but I believe that that is the makeup side. Now I have some few products that I've been trying for my skincare. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into skincare. I have a very sensitive acne skin. I have a fixed makeup routine, which if you guys want to see a nighttime and daytime makeup routine, give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Because of that, I never really purchase any skincare other than repurchasing what I've already been using in what i've been loving first product that 
I am in love with. Uh, this brand right here called Elemis. This one is a superfood night cream, probiotic night cream. It's a moisturizer with omega rich blend super grain and an active probiotic that helps to leave your skin feeling intensely hydrated while you sleep, wake up with healthy looking complexion and outdoor fresh glow. Everything that they claim this product to be, it is what it is. Like this is an amazing night cream. The only thing <laughs> that bothers me is the smell. It has a lot of natural ingredients into it. My husband thinks it smells good because of all the essential oils, but it's just me because it's right in my face. Every time I wash my face, clean it up, all the makeup is gone. Obviously you don't have that natural moisture on your face. When I put this on, it makes my skin feel super cooling and it just feels good. And you don't need a whole lot. This item is a little expensive. This brand, they make expensive skincare and they're definitely on a higher like a luxury brand but a little bit goes a long way. I would just put one pump on my hand and it's a green cream. The next morning my skin looks so nice like my pores are very refined. Any uneven discoloration looks so good. It just makes my skin very hydrated. If, if you think you have an oily skin I noticed that before even before if I have oily skin I said I'm gonna stay away from this moisturizer. I'm not gonna do this with my face. I'm just gonna just use a matte Modifying moisturizer, which not good for your skin. It's basically, if you don't put anything on your skin or your face needs moisture, it needs hydration. So if you don't put anything on your skin, you don't put moisturizer, you always stay away from moisturizer or anything like that, your skin is lacking moisture. And that's when the time where your skin is gonna just try to provide its own moisture. Your face is just gonna say, well, heck, she's not gonna feed me. She's not gonna water me. I'm just gonna provide my own hydration. So that's where you get more oil than you would have because your face is just constantly trying to produce oil to keep it hydrated because you are not feeding it. You are not hydrating your skin. And this one sitting on your face all night, just letting it soak in there. It is just good. And I think this has also helped my skin not to be super greasy under all my makeup because I'm basically watering my skin and it doesn't freak out. And that's where mattifying primer comes in. Make sure that your skincare is solid and, and you're just feeding your face with good hydration. Then that's when you can use mattifying. Mat Mattifying primer, mattifying foundation, mattifying powder and spray. That's when you use the mattifying stuff. But people with oily skin do not be afraid with moisturizer. Your skin needs moisture. I'm probably gonna say this again on my skincare video, but I just want to say this. Another thing with moisturizing is the Sephora line. Uh, Sephora had launched a new skincare line and this is Sephora HYA Hyaluronic Acid Brightening Eye Cream Hydrate and Defa. And this is what it looks like. Yeah, this packaging reminds me of Drunk Elephant, but I never really tried that. But it's really cute. It has a matte texture. I love this. Very luxury feeling. This is $16 from Sephora, obviously. This claims to be an eye cream that hydrates your eye area and reduce an appearance of dark circle. So that's where brightening comes in. Puffiness and sign of aging. Um, I love, love this eye cream. First of all, it's very affordable for Sephora. It comes with a little tub right here. And I think that it comes with quite a bit of product. And this one is just a white cream and a little bit goes a long way and it's cooling and it's very, very, very hydrating. I definitely no noticed some defuffing from it. The hydration is the key for me. I love keeping my under eye hydrated. So that helps it reduce fine line because if you have dry skin and you're not moisturizing or you're not moisturizing at all, that can speed up your aging process. You don't want that. Now that that moisturizer dries out, it just leaves my skin very hydrated. It's not sticky. It is not tacky. I noticed some brightening on un under my eye, which is good. I use this day and night. This is very nice and I love this. Definitely going to keep this in my skincare. I've always wanted one of these but I just could never make myself to buy one. I don't know why. There are some affordable ones. There are some from Colourpop. There are some from e.l.f. that are very affordable but this one right 
here is from Cosmetics. And it's this one right here. And it's in here is my Jade Roller. Oh my God. What? So my battery died. <laughs> so I had to replace it. But when I was saying before my battery died was I've been loving the Jade Roller. Obviously this one, distribute your skin product, allowing the active ingredients to absorb in your skin a lot better. I also lips and firm your skin for more youth looking complexion, which we all want to look younger. And this also helps reduce appearance of dark circles. This one is really good. Um, I've seen a lot of people put this in the refrigerator and then use it. This one right here, this is specific one can comes off like this. So you can clean it very good. Um, you have to clean this every time um, this is just like another item that you have to make sure that it is sanitized and clean because you don't want to put dirty products on your face every time i use this i just enjoy using this i'll sit there and just roll it on my face and just keep looking at myself in the mirror i noticed that this helps my skin very very nice um i think that when i think when i started using all these products i noticed my poor appearance just refines like it just is slowly disappearing and using this and letting my skin products soak in my skin my skin is just absorbing good ingredients of whatever skincare i'm using and i enjoy using this little one under my eye and obviously the big one all over my face i even do it on my neck it, it just it feels nice everything that i've talked about today i genuinely in love with this this works really good you guys can buy a cheaper version of this i think it would look it would work the same this one definitely i got super lucky that i got this in my box all the products that i have mentioned today i absolutely in love with i thought this video is gonna be a shorter version of my favorite but it seems like I just had so much to say, especially on the skincare side. All the skincare products that I mentioned, I am enjo enjoying using. I love using it because I find it to work on my skin. Obviously, a lot of people doesn't have the same skin type, but I have a combination sensitive, acne prone skin. And everything that I mentioned, I found it helpful. I am doing a skincare routine um, for night and morning, so you guys keep an eye on that. But yeah i like i said i hope you guys enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe leave a comment down below tell me what else you want to see um, any suggestions of what videos you guys want me to do uh, check out my previous videos i would leave a link on the card and yeah i will see you later bye